What's up guys, Atom Bacon here. Welcome to my first let's play of the blob. Nope, stop. Wow, that's a great start. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a good let's play when your first screw but screw up is on the file naming screen. <laughs> Alright. Nope. <coughs> Before I really get started, I'd just like to give an apology in advance. I'm, uh, well, actually, I kind of just proved I'm apologizing before. I have a bit of a stutter in my speech, and I have a tendency to often sometimes raise my voice <laughs> with, like, without really realizing it, and I speak kind of fast a lot of the time. So, if I'm a bit hard to understand, I apologize for that. I will try to get better. That's part of the reason I'm doing this is I'm hoping it'll get help me get better at my speaking, both for the viewers, you guys, and for the sake of people I'm talking to in real life. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's get started. First episode, last resort. That's a great way to start. You got you're given these options, you get uh, more of them as you go through. These kind of just, uh, I've actually never really been sure what they do. Uh, if you know, please, uh, feel free to mention it in the comments. I'm gonna go with Funky, just cause I like that. <laughs> so, right out with these guys that we saw in the intro. <laughs> never send a hammer to do a fist job. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Quite the telescope. Am I the one who finds those little paint bot things actually kind of cute in a weird way, or is that just me? I love how there's at least like 20 different colors there, yet he only sucked up the red and everything else went away. I found oddly specific radar if it mentions the exact shape there. I mean, I get it's not hard to zero in on a blob, but it even had the little feeler ear thing. I've never really been sure what those are. That looks kind of actually a bit of a gruesome way to die when you think about it. That's essentially his gut spilling out. <coughs> this was once a beautiful holiday resort, but ink took all the color. It's another gray day at the beach. Used to be fun around here. We'll set up base here for the color underground and plan our strike on Chroma City. <laughs> you know, when I was a little kid, I never got the joke or the name of Chroma City. <coughs> <coughs> hey, Professor, I found the paint bot transmitter. <laughs> if we capture the transmitter, we can start restoring the color. Let's get this started. Alright. <coughs> mm -hmm. Let's go into this and right off the bat we have tutorials. Welcome to the Revolution Blob, I'm the Professor, the leader of the Color Underground. The only one without a real name I've mentioned. He has a title, but not really a name. The Evil Ink Corporation have taken all the color from Chroma City. With your help, we can restore the world using color energy. But you must hurry. The timer shows how long you have until ink tracks you down. Finish your mission and get to the exit pool before time expires. 
Let's make a start, Blob. Smash a paint bot to get color. Hmm. That's just explaining how to get color there. <laughs> Use the Z button to target and then swing the Wii remote to jump and you get color. Every paint bot you hit is worth uh, 10 paint points. <coughs> and basically everything you hit becomes colorful. And that's basically how this game works. On a very simple level. <coughs> now, uh, what well, you saw there was a style pickup. As you get, you know, add different patterns to your paint, <laughs> and uh, you'll notice <laughs> as I hit them, I get little additions to the music, which are kind of cool little things. And then hmm, a few little things show off. Should I read some gradients there? Huh. Weird. Anywho, <coughs> just want to get these first little bit. Now, as far as the uh, coloring things in this game goes, for those of you who know the game, <laughs> I was contemplating a balance between progression and completion, how much I would show and how much I wouldn't. Hmm. But, uh, there's a lot to do in this game, and <laughs> if I were to show every single area, or, <laughs> sorry, if I were to try to paint everything in every area, <laughs> I would keep you here for days. These videos would drag on, oops, these videos would drag on for a long time, <laughs> and you'd probably get bored of them really quickly, and, gra and also I would start to run out of things to say. <coughs> Improvised commentary isn't exactly my strong suit to begin with, so... Another thing I'm hoping to improve on. <coughs> now, if, uh, as you saw a moment ago there, I fell in the water. Uh, if you do that, you become clear. Uh, the longer you stay in the water, you'll shrink. Every ten points, you drop a size. If only losing weight were that easy in the real world. <coughs> uh, as you see, as I paint stuff... That's a really difficult jump to make. No, um... <laughs> ah, screw it. Uh, I think I sidetracked myself there. If I did finish what I was saying before, I'll be stupid and repeat it, but... Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're targeting something that you don't want to target, you can just release and retap the Z button to retarget something different. Ah, uh, fudge. Right, right, uh... So for a uh, balance between um, completion and uh, presentation, what I'm uh, completion and oh, that was smooth. Hang on, I'm gonna hit this first. Uh, these are transform engines. <laughs> these will basically affect a wide area and give you quite a bit of color. It'll, it's a lot more than what you can do with just one color. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm full. Anyway, uh. Jeez. Oh, for God's sakes. Mind the gap, Blob, you need to jump across. And it's gonna give us a tutorial for jumping, which I've done plenty. Just shake the Wii Remote. Once I stopped getting interrupted... <laughs> once I got... Once I stopped getting interrupted, I'll try to continue what I was saying. <laughs> I've prepared some challenges for you to help uh, put the last holiday resort back the way it was. Go up to the color symbol like the one behind me and press A. Color underground symbol, sorry. Go to it! Together we can color up the world! <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, is this gonna say something right away? No, it's not! Yay! Okay. So, what I was trying to say is, as you can see, there's a lot going on. As I call this stuff, uh, you can see that bar in the top right corner <laughs> filling up. When that reaches the little lock symbol, a gate will open. <laughs> and, uh, when that opens, I can progress to the next area. So, okay, uh, what I'm going to try to do, or, rather, what I'm going to do is show enough to present the next area, and I'll try to get a good chunk of the challenges shown, but I'm not going to hit every last thing, because that will just get boring for all of us. 
Uh, as you saw that when I completed this block of buildings, I released them gradients, and hitting them turns them back into radians. This will give you a boost that will restore your, um, that will, let me think, uh, give you ten extra sec, ten seconds, yeah, that's totally worth your time, ten extra minutes to the clock. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go back and actually get this challenge. <laughs> Oh, uh, <coughs> yeah, if you, uh, complete a challenge, um, before taking it, she'll say that. I actually had a plan to show that later, uh, in this specific area, but I guess I <laughs> inadvertently showed it now. You still get the time for that? Alright, did I say ten minutes? Jeez, I'm totally off. You get one minute for challenges, and you, I cannot remember if you get one minute or thirty seconds for gradients. I can check here in a moment. Hey, buddies! Okay, yeah, you get a minute for gradients, you get a minute for most challenges. This is how the cookie crumbles. Hmm. Oof. Oof! Style pick up! I got another transform engine. <laughs> okay, here we have a new color, yellow. Anyone who knows their grade one color math, if you will, knows how the primary colors work. Yellow plus red equals orange. You'll notice the target around it is orange. The target will show you what color you will become. So, if I'm orange, if I target this yellow one, the target becomes yellow. Hmm. Now, uh, also, you notice at the bottom there it said, uh, block completed three colors. The more colors you use in a single block, the more points you get. And I've unlocked the next area. Hmm. So, I'm going to finish up these last gradients and then head off. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll do this challenge first. <laughs> now, as funny as I think it's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna explain mixing colors, even though I already did. Alright, so she wants me to make this entire block orange. So go ahead and do that. Complete challenge. Challenge. Get a little extra points. And... Move on ahead. Oof. Uh, <laughs> this here will just... There's basically raw points. Oh, um, I guess one thing I just did there. Um, when moving, you can uh, press B to just stop on spot. And uh, if you do that in the air, you will plop to the ground. <coughs> so. And give me that. Moving on. Hmm. Our way ahead is blocked by the secret sector gate at the end of the thing. I missed the rest of that. The professor can crack it open if you earn enough color energy, as he was explaining. <laughs> now that he was explaining. As I explained. What am I saying? Complete challenges in the paint. Yeah. I, it goes by so quickly. <laughs> Derp. Now, what's, uh, interesting here that I can show <laughs> is, I'm sure you're probably all aware, blue is not part of orange. If you target it, you'll notice the indicator becomes brown, which is apparently more appealing than gray. Break open to the next sector, <coughs> and this next area is pretty heavily populated, I suppose, or, I suppose, as you can see. Like I said, improvised commentary is not my strong suit. <laughs> and I missed that. Whatever he said. Uh, ah, the propaganda tower. Lays night stuff. Um, next area challenges open the gate door sector. What a, I'm, I'm not even trying anymore, apparently. Uh, explain how to use the compass. Basically... 
my thing is when you're moving, you can hold down A, and that will show you everything from nearby paint blots to nearby challenges, where there's water, everything. These tall buildings were once luxury hotels. Let's test your color mixing skills. Paint the mug buildings yellow, blue, and green. Got a minute and a half for that? Pretty straightforward. Just three easy little buildings there. Really not my... And now, this is another fun mechanic, is wall jumping. It allows you to cover ground pretty quickly. You either hear that Chroma said he needed blob, always look around for a place that you can call it. The camera controls will help you out. Like any game, beginning is loaded with tutorials. Mm -hmm. You can use the D-pad on the Wiimote to circle the camera around you. Uh, you can press <coughs> down on the Wiimote and go into first person view and then with the pointer. Down, uh, up doesn't really do anything, and si uh, C will set. C will center the camera behind you. Somewhat of alliteration. Sometimes the rooftops are the safest way to travel. Jump on the slopes. Jump on the slope to building behind me. You can then reach this line of hotels and paint them yellow. Mm. That's. Oh. Well. So oh, slope buildings are the main way you're going to be getting into these higher areas a lot of the time. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, that there, that I got it in one. That will basically just tell you how many attempts it took you to beat any given challenge. Just in case you cared. You got all the way up here. You were born to jump, Blob. Born to jump. Yeah. Please paint this row of hotels green to really bring the color back to the neighborhood. Woo! Uh. There's a pretty easy challenge, just to be honest. <laughs> and... Yep, bust open the next gate. Alright. Mm. Where's that? Did I miss my uh, time pickup? I think I did. Hundred. Uh, gonna go ahead and get this here. Style pickup. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Lots of color. Bring color to everything. Color. Oh, I don't. I don't have the transform engine. Darn it. Try to get that before I go. What was that? There they are. I'm, uh, I'm, like, I feel like I'm looking for something, but I can't figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the transform engine. Uh, speaking of missing something, oh, there we go. You back roads I miss. Where are you? What? what, what? Oh, there. Wee wee. <laughs> right way to build up time on the clock. Time is certainly valuable to you because, especially if you're actually trying to go for everything, the best thing you can get for yourself is more time. <laughs> <coughs> so this area, and before I go. <laughs> This propaganda tower is an inked landmark, Blob. <laughs> ink converts all the radiant civil buildings and uses them to spread their message of monotony. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> However, you have the power to transform landmarks and restore them to their former glory. Landmarks are the resistant to color. Are the resistant, yep. <laughs> landmarks are resistant to color, but I've invented a device which allows you to slam its weak point and get inside. You'll need to be red and have 30 paint points. I can only override the landmarks defenses for a limited time, so act quickly. There are going to be a lot of these throughout uh, spilling landmarks. <laughs> you target them, jump in, and basically just shake the Wiimote to fill them with paint. Huh. 
Funny thing is, I almost have enough for the next area. Now, before I get... This is a great time... A great time. This is a great time to start getting hiccups. Jeez. <laughs> but, uh... <coughs> introducing ink, I'll explain that actually when we get to it. Beyond the ink, our luxury seaside apartment. Sector gate leads to our target, the paint bot transmitter. These here are uh, extra lives, but um, before I collect these, I'd actually, or rather, instead of collecting these, I'd like to show a little something. There, uh, I want to show this somewhat early, so if you are playing along and you have a little bit of trouble with this game, this may be able to help you. If you hold down the C button. <coughs> and enter various commands of 1 and 2, you get a few extra things. 1, 1, 1, 1, toggles invincibility. <laughs> Turn that off again. 1, 2, 1, 2, increases your time by 10 minutes. And 1, 1, 2, 2, gives you a 1-up. So I'm going to ignore those 1-ups and expand for showing. I know I actually technically only got one from the cheat, but... I'll call the other one up in the time bonus as my reward for skipping the actual time bonus. It was given me, given to me, even though I think I got more from that. <coughs> they give you a lot of one ups here because you're actually starting to get into some uh, enemies, or not enemies, but hazard. If you get inked, your health deplete and anything you hit that you've painted <coughs> reverts. You can uh, buy yourself time by attacking paint boss, but they won't restore you. The only way to save yourself is to jump in the water. <laughs> Style! Whoa! Did not mean to go all the way over there. Wall jumping can be a bit finicky sometimes, you know? Wait, what the hell? Is that like a water... Oh, wow, really? Okay. <laughs> uh. Nice little pool. I, mean, I guess that's better than spilling ink everywhere. We. Now, if I'm correct, I believe while inked. Um, actually, here's a fun little challenge. It's explaining three star challenges. These ones can actually. Honestly, three star challenges are rarely actually difficult, but. To give you something to aspire to, at least. Whoa! <sighs> that was close. Aha! If the trick is to get up here, you can give these rooftops fairly easily. Oh, crap. That actually was an accident. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, that's another thing. While you're inked, uh, water fountains become targetable. Uh, yo. Paint bot. Thank you. Seriously? Oh my god. <laughs> Guess the Let's Play curse is coming into play already. Alright. Uh, okay, there we go. No, not doing that. Tap that. Whoa, get that. <laughs> that was great timing. I'm just like chilling out like I'm Inky, Inky and Blinky, and Clyde. <laughs> it's just me, but I could totally see Clyde being a name for the Blob. Like if, if like I know his name is Blob, but if he had like an actual name for some reason, I could see him being called Clyde. Alright, got the transform energy. I could chill around here and mess up. Mess up. <laughs> well, apparently I just did mess up my commentary. Got a silver medal, though, that's nice. Get 
get the transform energy. And I could end the level, but most levels tend to have a massive landmark to fi uh, finish her at the end. I'm going to get interrupted. That's a paint but Yeah. That's what I was just talking talking about. Most levels have a massive uh, landmark that you have to take out at the end. Now, it's actually kind of interesting hmm, is that you can see the area where you first started out from from here. See where you began. Can't come full circle. <laughs> Neat little easter egg. Nice touch. Hmm. Oh, wow. I, I, did, I did not even see that fountain there. <laughs> This is a prime target, Blob. This is a land. This landmark controls all the paint bots in Chroma City. Paint the target on the. Yeah. Paint the target on the paint bot transmitter. You'll. What? Oh. Paint the target on the paint bot transmitter. You'll need to be yellow and hit with 50 paint points. Still not very hard. Yeah. Uh, if I can find a yellow. There he is. 97. Um, I actually want to show something kind of funny. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, the longer you stay in, the faster you shrink. Okay. If you have exactly enough... What ends up happening when you are done is kind of funny. <coughs> hmm. You clear it up. And with that, I say we end this episode. But, first, <laughs> this is you and you have zero paint points. <laughs> hmm. Crack open the ending. And that concludes the first episode. <laughs> Next time on The Blob, The Blob, can't even say the title right. <laughs> next time on the blob, we're gonna be, well, frankly, taking on the next level. <laughs> and I plan to do one level for each episode, so some level, some episodes might inherently be longer than others. Uh, next episode, we'll be going uptown.